Today we will be deriving Heron's formula for the area of oblique triangles using three sides. Heron's formula says that given any triangle with side lengths a, b, and c, the area of the triangle is equal to the square root of s times the difference of s and side a times the difference of s and side b times the difference of s and side c where s is equal to side a plus side b plus side c all divided by 2. In order to derive this formula, we first need to all have the same picture. Go ahead and take a second and draw the triangle and label it as I have done. Note that this is just a normal triangle, but I have put the height and made it into two separate triangles as far as bases. In order to derive our formula for Heron's formula for the triangle, first we need to focus on the area of triangle ABC, the large triangle. Go ahead and write the formula for the basic area of a triangle. If you wrote that area equals one half base times height, you are correct. Now from triangle ADB, I need you to write an equation using the Pythagorean theorem. If you wrote that x squared plus h squared equals c squared, then you are correct. Notice that we were able to do that because having a height gave us a right triangle, which allowed us to use the Pythagorean theorem. Now I want you to solve this equation for x squared and for x. If you have that x squared equals c squared minus h squared, and that x equals the square root of c squared minus h squared, then you are correct. Now let's take a look at triangle C, D, B. Again, having a height means that this triangle is a right triangle. For this triangle, I once again need you to write an equation using the Pythagorean theorem. If you have that b minus x squared plus h squared equals a squared, then you are correct. Now I want you to extend the left side of this equation. Doing this, we have b minus x squared equals a squared minus h squared b squared minus 2bx plus x squared equals a squared minus h squared. Now substitute the values of x and x squared into the equation from triangle CDB. When we do that, we have the following. All we're doing here is simplifying. Now I want you to square both sides. Here we're squaring both sides. And then solving for h squared. Still solving.
still solving. Now, if you've gotten to this point, if you followed every step on what's been happening, it's very important to note that P here stands for the perimeter, which makes sense because A plus B plus C, our sides added together around the triangle, is our perimeter. Now this should be, look pretty familiar. Now what I want you to do is substitute your H value into the equation area equals one-half base times height. When you've done that, you should get something that looks like this. and it simplifies to that. Now think about for a second, what is P in terms of a single side? What is your perimeter of a triangle in terms of a single side? Recall the perimeter divided by 2 is the side, so p over 2 equals s. Therefore, we have the area formula based on sides. Plugging in s for p divided by 2, we have that a equals the square root of s times s minus a times s minus b times s minus c. So after taking the time to derive Huron's formula, I think we can all be pretty thankful that he did it for us.